Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. The aim of today's video is to help you guys decide which player to take in our current level 30 season objectives. There's three players to choose from but one man stands out and it's pretty much a no-brainer guys but in today's video we're going to be checking out the storyline 89 overall, Eric Lamella. Still break for Lamella. Oh, what about that? That's extraordinary. Eric Lamella with an absolute beauty. All right, then, guys. So these are the three boys to pick from. We got Kondreva. We got Jimmy Brion, who is an old school legend. I remember this guy having like a low rated gold rare card. Him and Gomez, Bafatimbi Gomez, that was it. Uh, awesome hyperlink back in the day. And then Eric Lamella is the man we're taking. It's pretty much a no-brainer, purely for rating and fodder-wise. the highest rated out of the three. He's easier to link to players with the likes of Endon Bele. Harry Kane's has got a new team this season and there's a few decent Spurs boys. And he's Argentinian, I guess, so you get a decent link to Argentinian lads. But before we dive into Lamella's card, we'll take a little look at Jimmy Brion and Kondreva and see if we're really missing out on anything. Jimmy Brion is four-star, four-star, six-foot high medium. And the shooting stats are very, very nice. The pace is decent, but instantly the balance and agility are bottom of the barrel. And the dribbling stats are pretty poor all round. He's got decent reaction to decent composure, but just that agility and balance. The lack of it and the lack of pace is, nah, this doesn't work for me. Antonio Kajova's 5'11", medium, medium, four star, four star. And a similar boat to Jimmy Brion, to be fair. He's got the pace, decent-ish passing stats. The dribbling, once again, is let down by the agility. The rest of the dribbling stats are actually okay. He's got the stamina there. You could probably play him as a right wing back or a right mid in a 3-5-2. The shooting stats are decent. The finishing is a little bit on the low side. Probably not high enough if you want to start him further up the pitch. He's going to let you down. You're going to notice it with a finishing of 80. He's got power free kick trait. Apart from that, nothing else too special. And at the end of the day, it just doesn't tick all the boxes, guys. To be fair, his card is actually very similar to Lamella. But purely for the link aspect, Lamella 100% gets my vote. And let's have a little look at his stats. So, you're rocking. Six foot, high, high, four star, three star. He's got the four star skills. He is only three star weak foot, but that is absolutely fine. High, high work rates, which makes him perfect for starting as a right mid in a 3-5-2 or maybe a right wing back in a five back. It depends how sweaty you're feeling. His pace is very similar to Kondreva. Same with the shooting stats. If anything, a little bit worse in the shooting department. Passing is much better than Kondreva and Jimmy Brion. And then the dribbling stats has got very high ball control, very high dribbling. The agility and the balance and the reactions are you know, mid to high 80s, which are okay. We hopefully be boosting that up with a chem style in today's video. He's also got finesse shot and flare trait and a few other traits with the CPU AI. But it's just a no-brainer, guys. Purely for fodder rating and for the links, Eric Lamella is going to be our boy. And this is the team that we're going to use Eric Lamella in today. As I said, you get the Spurs links to end on belly. I packed this guy in my uh, guaranteed community in the season pack, I believe it was. Uh, so he gets a straight link to Lamella, which is beautiful. The rest of the team are the usual chaps you'll see in my Foot Champs videos. That's what we're going to do in today's video. We're going to play four Foot Champs games. I have 3-0 at the time of recording this. So fingers crossed we can win them all and get to 7-0, I believe it is. Uh, that'd be beautiful if we could make that happen. But in regards to custom tactics and how we're lining up in game, we're doing balance, five whip and six depth. And then in regards to the actual uh, starting lineup, end on belay. Unfortunately, Sveinsteiger and Mbappe are starting up top. We're going to have to sub Sveinsteiger out straight away for Ivan Tony, the absolute goal machine. And Eric Lamella as a right mid, Davi as a left. Unkunku and Ndombele holding down the midfield. I'm super excited to dive into the foot champs. I need to get some games under my belt to get closer to rewards as we're getting through Saturday at the moment and I'm not going to be able to play too much tomorrow so it's looking like a goal free finish for me. But for this video I'm not going to do a live commentary over the gameplay. We're going back to the old school montage style. Keeping it classic, mixing up a little bit. I'm going to compile all the clips from the next few games into a little montage for you and catch up with you afterwards.
Alright then, three goals, two assists in four foot champs matches and my first opinion on Eric Lamella is, okay, a bit of a baller. You know, I'm feeling the baller vibes. His body type is a big tick, he's lead in game which makes him super agile. Especially with 84 agility, we didn't even boost the agility with a chem style, we put a hunter on him for this video just to max out the pace and the shooting as much as possible. But those dribbling stats guys, I didn't notice it. Super agile, quick feet on the man, the shooting, that left foot is lethal. There's a few chances where he kind of cut in on his left and I thought he was going to flesh it top bins and he just hit it wide or the keeper made a big save. The majority of the shots this guy had, the power he gets behind the shots and the accuracy, it tends to go in most of the time. That first goal I think he scored in the first match, absolute rocket. The fake shot into the lack of Keta and then rifled it top bins. Happy days. I actually really enjoyed this card as much as I don't like Eric Lamella in the real world. I'm an Arsenal fan to start with and all I remember is him scoring a Rabona and then Albo and a few of our players in the face. Quite surprised he doesn't have the Albo player in face trait. However, putting aside the rivalry, it's a no-brainer. You've got to take him as your storyline level 30 pick, guys. If you pick someone else, let me know down below. If I've made a mistake and I should have gone for Jimmy Brion or Kandreva, do let me know down below in the comment section. However, I'm pretty confident most of you are going to pick this guy, even if it's just for fun. Anyway, I've been Morsi. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Another player view in the books ticked off. I'll be back hopefully tomorrow with some more Team of the Season player reviews, depending on content that gets released in regards to SBCs or objectives. I still need to grind that Rodri card. I'll get around to it at some point. But foot champs, I need to sweat some foot champs as well. So a lot to do, guys. I hope you enjoyed FIFA at the moment. Prem Team of the Season is here. We are in the pinnacle of FIFA 21 right now. So make the most of it. Enjoy yourself, guys. And I'll catch you soon for another video. Take it easy.